Those of you who watch the sun at all know that it doesn't rise in the same place every day. It moves in terms of each day where it rises on the horizon. And there's a northern extreme where the sun is high in the sky. And we have the summer solstice, and those are the longest days of the year. It's called solstice because for four or five days the sun seems to rise in the same position. And from a you know point of view of standing in one place where you have fixed horizon markers, natural horizon markers in many cases, you can watch all of this unfold. So from summer solstice, six months later to winter solstice, where it's way low in the sky and it's rising very far south, that's where we've reached today. So for the next four or five days, I came back here and stood here and watched the sunrise. It would seem to rise in the same place. Now, two weeks ago, it rose in a particular place standing here at this corner of the building. Look to the horizon. You see what looks like kind of a notch. You get that vertical cliff over there coming down right behind Bonito. Well, two weeks ago, standing here, the sun rose out of the base, the bottom of that notch came right out of it, okay? And so this position perhaps was chosen for that purpose. Now, that could be coincidental, certainly, but today it's not gonna rise in that notch from this position but it will rise from that notch on the northern corner of the building. So the width of this building wow. in this position in relation to that notch provides us with a two-week predictive marker for the winter solstice and then today, of course, over there, a confirmatory marker. All right? Here in this part of the world, the winter solstice is the most important part, important time of year. This is the most difficult. You want to come here? Some of you, how many of you camped? How many of you camped last night? Okay. Oh, camp. Wow. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well done. And last year it was 14 below. Whoa. So Whoa. this year is much a little bit warmer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the heat wave. You know we've had. Okay. So it's the coldest. It's the darkest at this time of year. And this is now the shortest day. Okay. For the people here, they were told stories about this that made it meaningful and help them remember this time through the story. One of the stories goes a little bit like this. The father today has gone into his winter house, the son. We're the children. Now while he's there for these next four or five days, he's asking questions about us. These are important questions, and they're questions like, are they walking well upon their mother, the earth? Are they worthy of life? Are they good people? If the answer turns out to be no, that fourth or fifth day, the sun just keeps going, checks out of the sky. And there is nothing but night and cold, darkness, everything dies. So it's very important to be able to know before this happened. And a two-week period is real common here in the canyon. We see it over and over again. Uh, there are many sites. There's one near the visitor center, there's Bujiji. This two-week predictive marker gives people time to prepare the ceremony which brings everybody into harmony. Ceremonies bring people together. And then when the father goes into his winter house and asks, are they of good heart? Are they walking well? Are they good people? The answer is yes. The sun turns around and comes back into the sky. So we're here to acknowledge that particular change in time, a relationship. Time and relationships shift and they move, but they have a pattern. And as you watch the sun, you see that pattern. Today, we're acknowledging one end of that cycle and here, as I said, in this part of the world, it's the most important time of the year. This is when people gather together, tell stories, ceremonialize this event. And that's what we're here to do. Whatever it means to you. Now, we're not all of a single culture. The people in Chaco probably were not of a single culture. They had many different traditions. But they shared these traditions, and we see at so many different places. So two weeks from this spot, this morning, We'll go over there, and that's where we'll watch the sun, we hope. There's some clouds, but we'll see. Doesn't matter if there are clouds. We all have faith that the sun will rise in the place it's supposed to be. But people who acknowledge this periodically understand that cycle. They see the parameters of that cycle. And as long as they're moving within the cycle, balance is achieved. So all over the world, somewhere, there are people who are acknowledging this. 
maybe in ceremonial ways, maybe just going out and watching just for a moment, maybe big groups gathering together at special places. The special places remind us that we live within a cycle, several cycles, and it behooves us to understand the cycles so that our harmony and balance in the world will be achieved. That's what it's all about, is understanding the, the, the cycle of the world. So in terms of the sun moving along the horizon, well, every day it seems to rise in a different place. Today it will rise right behind there. Let's go over to that site and we'll see the, where we can stand and see it today. So, welcome. Let's move over here.